All right, I am trying to get to the point where I can put bare metal primer on this. So I have, uh, you know, I had some lumpy spots here. It's far from perfect. And it's, it's gonna be visibly bumpy. Um, but I think this is the point where I'm good enough with it. So basically my spots I had to deal with here, you know, we look down the, and there's pretty smooth. But this right front area is definitely a little bumpy. But I had to do a little repair on this hole here. But I think that gets a um, grommet in it, so it shouldn't have to be too perfect. But uh, this is ready to go, so I'm just going to set up this camera here and hit it with mineral spirits. And then I'm going to set it up for um, priming. So, give it five minutes to dry. <coughs> Let's see. <coughs> five minutes to dry. And I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. And then we're going to put some primer on it. Maybe I'll move it up a little bit. All right, well, I can't say that it is perfect, but I got a first coat of primer on it. Uh, it exposes all the little bumps and imperfections of where I put on body filler. This is still bumpy couple of uh, bad areas but you know like I said <coughs> this car is gonna be imperfect the backside you know you can see where some of the paint where I didn't remove all of the paint and uh, probably if I had some high build primer I could uh, get rid of some of that but I think I'm not gonna worry about it I'm gonna put probably three coats of primer on it before I put the Lotus white on it and then uh, just go from there. Lotus White covers the white much easier than it'll cover any kind of dark color or metal or uh, or a black rust reformer or something like that. So, okay, um, let this dry and then I'll put on the next coat. All right, well, it's evening. Getting chilly out here. I've got two coats, two coats of Lotus White on here. I think it looks good. Um, so the back side is, you know, the back side is a little sloppy, but the the front side looks great. You know, the back side, I just I have some some drips coming down here, and I have some places where I didn't sand off all of the paint like that. You can see if you can see that. But nobody's going to care about that because it's going to be on the underside. Oh, more drips, more drips. Uh, I don't really care about the drips on the underside. But on the top side, it has a really good texture. And so I've got a, um, I've only got one can of this left, which is my clear coat. I'm going to make sure I use that for twice on my top side and then if I have any left I'll go on the back side otherwise I'm going to use the rust-oleum clear coat for the back side until I can get some more of this automotive touch-up but this is great what I'm trying to do is get this piece put on the trim put on the VW logo um, actually what I can do is 
I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna make this VW logo there black or if it's gonna be chrome. Looks like I have two of them. I've got one that somebody had painted black here. And I've got one which is the, the chrome. So probably I'll wire brush this a little bit and let's see uh, how this looks. Um, you know, I have black trim on everything, so, but then again, I'm, since it's gonna have the stainless steel coming down the middle, probably I'll use this aluminum one. Well, disassembling this whole back end here, so I've got the, I've got the transaxle out. I've got the plates off of the sides. Started scraping this and I have new boots for this. I put in the new uh, starter bushing. Um, I need to scrub this down really well. You can see this boot is not in good shape. Um, I, uh, I went ahead and took all of this out and I'm gonna wire brush this down and then I'm gonna paint this with rust reformer, possibly a little bit of black gloss. This is very goopy, so, you know, I don't wanna get it wet where I spray a bunch of water on it, so I'm gonna wire brush it and then take a couple of rags with uh, mineral spirits and just go over it until I can, uh, until I can hit it with the uh, gloss. I have a problem with my struts in that I, I ordered the wrong, ordered the wrong struts here, and I think these say that they're for 68 and beyond, but if you look, that has a little protruding side, and the ones that I'm replacing just look like that, so I ordered the new ones. I could probably, you could probably cut these off, make it look like that. The rest of it is the same probably cut that off with the with a grinder cutting wheel but anyway yeah so I have these I'm gonna have to clean clean these things off and uh, it's a big job I mean this is messy so I got new transaxle uh, oil that I'm gonna put in but of course since it leaks out here you can't put that in until I get everything reassembled and cleaned up. And I think, let's see, I have to check this seal here. Yeah, that's so, um, I've got a new transmission mount and the seal here is really, um, you know, it's really, really brittle. So, all right. All right, the other thing that I've got going here is I, I did a little mini, repair on a hole that was right here. And uh, yeah, this is a slate thing in there on the paint, but I have two VW symbols. And in keeping with uh, the way my bus is, with the way it's black with Lotus white, I took one of them and I painted it black because I have a black VW symbol on the front of the, um, of the bus. So, I think I'm gonna go with the black one here, but again, the rest of this trim is actually, um, you know, it's, I got the stainless steel one. So I think, you know, I can push this in. Like that. Let me just show with both hands here. That all the way down. Okay. So, that's the way that's gonna look. I think that looks good. Again, this, I don't know why on this little edge, there's one little spot here where the See if you can see where that paint came up, just a tiny bit. The rest of this hood looks really pretty good. I mean, except for the bumpiness that I left here, you know, I stripped off all of this uh, body filler, and the funny thing about it is that 
it might have wound up looking better if I had just sanded it and repaired a few body pillar areas and left that millimeter or two on there. But, you know, I like it better in that it's basically bare metal. You can see that I, once the sun is on it, you can see the ridge there where I, I didn't sand the body filler well enough. But I'd say overall, I think this looks good.